So what started as a GPU optimization startup in 2021 pivoted to Code, which is Codium, in 2023, and today it just got sold to OpenAI for three billion dollars. Well, you may think that's just one percent of OpenAI's projected 300 billion valuation, but still. This is its biggest acquisition ever. So we're talking about Windsurf, the latest and the most strategic acquisition in OpenAI's history. So it's basically built for developers, tuned for teams, and powered by pure utility. So Windsurf was founded as XA Function in 2021 by Varun Mohan and Douglas Chen, basically graduates of Massachusetts Institute of Technology, and the company initially focused on GPU inference optimization, which meant reducing cloud bills for AI teams. But by early 2024, they made a sharp pivot. From infra to inference, so that's when Windsurf was born, a low latency AI native integrated developer environment designed from the ground up. Basically, no bloated features, right? Just giving developers the pure flow of coding. So they basically their bet was cutting inference bills was more important than chasing model glory. And at the end, it worked because by mid 2024, Windsurf had over 700,000 developers in its free tier, thousand plus enterprise customers, all powered by a low-cost proprietary model. And Windsurf's real innovation was their entire tech stack. So we have Cascade, their in-house orchestration engine, and also has a very smart context window and agentic workflows baked directly into the IDE. While OpenAI was originally in talks to acquire Cursor. It soon made its pivot to Windsurf. Granted, that Cursor had stronger metrics, right? Because it had three hundred million dollars of ARR, nine billion dollars valuation, and recently just raised nine hundred million dollars of funding. But in the end, Windsurf had better alignment towards OpenAI's vision thanks to their philosophy, both in stack and their vision for developers. So Cursor may be better on paper, but Windsurf essentially fit better in code. Now Windsurf may just be OpenAI's official IDE play, and with O4 Mini and Codex CLI in tow, this is not just a tooling update; it's essentially a full-stack developer experience. But how did Windsurf scale so fast? Two things essentially: low-cost and proprietary models trained for developer tasks. And a smooth user experience that devs did not just use, but they also loved while they did so. And Windsurf didn't even launch its coding assistant until six months ago, and yet it became the most talked about IDE among developers on X, forums like Hacker News, Reddit, and communities like Discord. The founders convinced investors that helping developers save on compute and not just flexing bigger models was the real goldmine. And that's how they raised early backing from Lux Capital, Unusual Ventures. General Catalyst and angels from DataBricks, OpenAI, and Nvidia. So they stayed heads down, no hype, just shipping features throughout. So with this acquisition, Windsurf becomes OpenAI's developer IDE layer, and Codex CLI gets native integration. So developers can now write, run, debug, and deploy all within the same agentic system. But it'd be interesting to see if this acquisition will still let Windsurf host multiple AI models on its platform, because this includes competing models from Anthropic, DeepSeek. And other models, but having said that, Microsoft's GitHub Copilot still leads in user base. It has over 1.8 million paying users, 50,000 plus enterprises use it, and the tide is turning because 92% of US developers now use some sort of AI help, and many are switching to tools as quickly as they switch tabs. So essentially, the AI coding world is splitting into three camps. GitHub Copilot's VS Code Empire, Cursor's App Layer Only Thesis, and OpenAI's new Windsurf-backed stack. So each of them is betting on a different future, right? Because Copilot has the distribution, Cursor has the velocity, and Windsurf now has OpenAI. So the AI coding market is expected to jump from 4.9 billion dollars today to 27.17 billion dollars by 2032. That's six times a surge. That's enough room for multiple tech giants. But the next 18 months will decide. Who nails the user experience and who saves the most dollars for developers? And end of the day, who builds the most helpful coding agent? Look, coding is becoming a commodity. Developers will switch the moment something saves them a few keystrokes or a few dollars. The final take is Windsurf wasn't just acquired; it was drafted. So this isn't just a product move, right? It's a whole platform play because OpenAI is now betting that developers don't just want a copilot; they want an entire command center, and Windsurf gives them that. So it's fast, it's cheap, it's agentic, and with Codex CLI and O4 Mini under the hood, this is no longer about helping you code; it's about coding with you. This is front page by AIM TV. Like, share, and tag a developer who's still stuck on VS Code. Because think AI, think AIM.